Hey guys, Golden with Scoggin Dickey, and today we're going to talk about widebands. And more specifically, we're going to talk about when and why you need one and how to set one up. You'll take a look. You can see the wideband is not moving very much at AFR. It's pretty straight, straightforward in a straight line. And we're going to talk about why that's important in when you're tuning a car. All right, so if you're buying one of our HP tuners kits and you ask yourself, do I need to purchase a wideband if you don't own a hellcat a c8 vet or a coyote powered mustang the answer is yes you're going to have to pur purchase an an aftermarket wideband because your car is equipped with a narrow band oxygen sensor and narrow band oxygen sensors only really work just to keep the oe level air fuel ratio correct narrow band oxygen sensors work in the same way that bumpers at the bowling alley work to keep the ball going down the lanes without getting off into the end of the gutters. When I show you this log here in a minute, you're gonna see what the difference is between a narrow band and a wide band oxygen sensor is. Many of us tuners have, we, we have our ways of doing it when the car is with us. We've got the clamps with the, that'll go on the window and in a different pipe. We've got the tailpipe sniffers that you can use. There's lots of different ways to set these things up and I'm fixing to show you why and how. All right, so we're gonna start with looking at a couple of logs. The first log we're gonna look at is actually a log off of a scat pack car. Uh, this one is boosted, um, but the first thing you'll notice is you'll notice these squiggly lines right here in the middle. These are your oxygen sensor volts. This is what a narrow band oxygen sensor waveform looks like. It's going in between rich and lean, rich and lean, rich and lean, back and forth, giving you an average. If you look up here in this histogram, you can see these are all the short trim, short term fuel trim values um, based on RPM and load and everything else. But if you look down here in the corner, it's all 4.69. These numbers are not real. Those are from wide open throttle pull. And I'm gonna scroll back over here to the side and you'll see why. When you go wide open throttle in this car, you'll see that the oxygen sensors just show rich. It's not relevant to any way that you can tune with this. But if you look up here on the top screen, you'll see this thing says EQ commanded and EQ. That is equivalence ratio. And it's what I use versus AFR. People use AFR, people use EQ ratio. I use EQ ratio because it doesn't matter what the fuel con uh, chemistry is the numbers are always the same. You need to remember 1, 1 1.0, 0 0.90, and 0 0.80, whether or not it's a naturally aspirated or a power adder car, such as a boosted or nitrous car. This one being a boosted car, you can see that my commanded uh, EQ ratio is 0 0.80 or 11.7 to 1. So let's look at this yellow line. This is my commanded line right here, and it's solid flat. You look at the EQ ratio, this is the actual wideband that is in the pipe. You can see where it just, it kind of holds on to it and it's going up and down, but it's straight. But the narrow band oxygen sensors are useless in wide open throttle. So if you have somebody that is tuning your car without a wideband, they are guessing at the top end. So you go over here to my wide open throttle chart and you can actually see when you go wide open throttle, it is telling you the percentage difference between the commanded and the actual AFR. This is how you tune a car. So let's go over here and look at a Hellcat. Looking at a Hellcat, you see where I usually have the oxygen sensor volts. Right now I just have right and left bank EQ ratio, which again is just the equivalence ratio or 14.7 to one. I have it mathed right here. So it is commanding 14.7. As soon as you go wide open throttle, it's commanding 11.83, and it holds steady all the way across. There's a lot less going on on a Hellcat with a factory wideband. This is what a factory wideband car looks like. Okay, now that we showed you what the difference is, let's show you how to set one up in HP tuners right quick. So what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go over to your channels. You wanna add a channel to it. And this is why I like the AEM because it's easy to set up, the channels are already defined. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into the channels, you're gonna to go to external out inputs, you're gonna to go to your MPVI 2, 3 uh, links, and where it says ProLink, ProLink Plus, click that, and you will either have one of two wires, you will have the red or the blue, whichever wire you, you hooked it to is the one you need to select, obviously. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna 
select double click that and then we'll exit back out now we see it right here we need to right click on it and what we will do is go to here transform so when you go to transform this is going to ask you what sensors it could be you can actually do user defined there's a lot more to that but you don't have to on these because they're already defined by HP tuners so there's two different ways you can do it air fuel ratio or equivalence ratio it's the same numbers it's just how it displays on the screen so let's do air fuel ratio air fuel ratio and then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna select the one that we have uh, NGK AFX is also the one that we that we sell as well and it is defined in here too I just prefer the AM300 uh, because I've used it several times and the best thing that I like about AEM is the fact that it does not have to be free air calibrated like the NGK does so we'll select this there is our math function it is already defined you hit OK and it's gonna it's good to go you select your pro link and it's going to spit out a log that looks just like this one it's gonna come over here and it's going to give you your air fuel ratio at the top right there I actually have this one set up for EQ just like I said before uh, if you have any questions give us a call shoot us an email uh, comment on the video below um, like and subscribe all of our channels and see y'all next time.